Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. We all saw how the primal shotgun didn't perform as we all hoped on the last video, yes it's good for low to mid power level missions, but for high end content, we got a lot of other better options. So in today's video, we will see if the primal pistol is the same thing, or it worth using. It will be a quick video, since we almost knew everything about the primal set. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying the content, helps me a lot. And you can join the channel and become a member too. And without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the best perks. I won't go through all the new perks again, I already explained all of them in the primal shotgun video. As a quick recap, the sixth perk will be plus 30% damage to targets above 85% health. It will be a crit build too, so I will use crit damage and critical rating. The element is locked to nature, as all the primal set right now plus 75% reload speed, since the reload speed is a bit low. And plus 36% damage to missed monsters and bosses, the other three perks are useless anyway. If you noticed, it's the exact same perks I used for the shotgun, and mostly will be the same for the SMG and the assault rifle. For the low doubt. Since it's a crit build, Beetlejess will be the best to increase the critical damage by 225%. For the team perk, totally rockin' out of course. Main Stage Quinn and Breakbeat Wildcat to activate the team perk. Ranger Deadeye to increase the pistol damage by 17%. Quick Draw Calamity to increase the pistol damage by 20% and impact by 25% for the first 6 shots in the magazine. And Gunblazer Southey to increase pistol damage by 35% for 4 seconds every time you use Phase Shift. I know that most of us forget to activate the active bonuses, like the Phase Shift one I just mentioned, we all prefer the passive bonuses. But I used all damage heroes to buff the damage as possible. Now, for the real test. Again, I will test it in a solo lobby, because in a full lobby, your teammates buffs your stats like I mentioned before. As you see, for the normal husk, you can one-shot most of them easily. Missed monsters too. The damage is good, since it's a burst weapon. These double shots are very helpful. But the fire rate is a bit low for a pistol. There are some heroes you can use to increase the fire rate, and you can use fire rate perk on the weapon too, but it will affect the crit rates. But still, it's not a crowd control weapon. I don't play with pistol so I don't know the best pistols in the game, but look, for example the Founder's Revolt with its amazing 6th perk. I always use this pistol. Yes its damage is lower, but it can consider as a crowd control weapon. I can eliminate the husk easily from a distance. I'm not saying it's the best pistol because of its 6th perk, it's just an example. For smashers, I need to explain something. I saw a lot of people on Discord going crazy about this weapon since it can one-shot a smasher. But chances for this to happen is not that much, I'm not saying it's useless. Don't get me wrong, the weapon and its damage are good, and I highly recommend it. The new 6th perks are very good, plus they may allow us to use other perks than the nature one, which will help a lot. I'm very very happy that they started adding new content in the game. But I hoped for something better. I'm not saying I wanted a new insane weapon like the Xenon Bao or something, just something different. I think all these new weapons and heroes were already made long time ago before they stopped updating Save the World. And that's why we don't see a difference since most of us are at the end game already add have ton of good weapons and heroes, that's the only explanation I see fits. There are a lot of options they can add from Battle Royale too. But at the end of the day let's be honest, we never hope to see anything new like this in the game. And again, make sure to get these new weapons. Because I'm sure there are more wild heroes and perks on the way. At the end you may agree with me or not, and it's okay. Let me know in the comments what you think. And that's it, don't forget to use code LARSIS in the item shop if you want to support me. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, see you in the next one.